Greetings everyone, this is Shahar Khan and in this lesson we are going to talk about HTTP headers. HTTP headers are actually information that describes a HTTP request or a response. These are actually present in both of them. As you can see here, this is a request made to filerepo.com requesting the web page. These are actually headers. It's a kind of pair, you can say. First, before the colon, there is a, a header name. After the colon, there is a header value. Each header tells the server about different information, like the user agent header tells the server that what user that what was the browser the user was using like in this case it's firefox this can be used for many purposes like like some domains like facebook.com if open from a mobile browser will return a different domain like m.facebook.com or some other so the server can can return different contents based on the user agents so this header is used for identifying the user's browser Next you can see the cookies header, the cookie header, this holds the user cookies so the user will remain in the session like if we are logged into a site, this header will hold the cookies so the user will remain signed in and like that each header has a different kind of function and it describes different thing. The same thing can be found in response. We can see here the content length is actually the length of the content that are returned from the server. These are the information that are useful for browser. Like browser like this header tells the browser how to handle the request or I mean the response. Like this says text slash HTML. This tells the browser that the browser should handle this re this response as HTML and it should render the content. Like if this was text slash plain, all the information will be treated as a, a plain text, like a document, like .txt format. Like there are different kind of headers that that, that gives different information. This is the date, this is the server version and some other stuff so these are present in both of them the http request and the response so these are the headers